My name is Ed Frawley. I own Learbird Video. We sell a lot of prong collars. We sell a lot of quick release prong collars. This video is about the reason I decided to no longer sell quick release prong collars. The no. reason I decided to stop selling them is because I think they're a dangerous product. No. Now before I go into the different styles and types of quick release prong collars, I need to make the point that and we have made this point for well over 10 years, that no one should use any prong collar, a normal prong collar or a quick release prong collar, without having a backup collar attached to that lease. The reason is that when someone gives a correction with a prong collar, they need that dog to stop doing what they're doing. Prong collars come apart. If a person gives their dog a correction and that prong collar comes apart, that trainer or handler is faced with a situation where their dog is off leash. Now, if they're dealing with uh, giving the dog a correction from wanting to pull into the street, if they're giving a dog a correction from wanting to be aggressive towards other people, places, or things, and then all of a sudden that dog is loose, that person has a problem. So we don't even sell any prong collar without the customer acknowledging the fact that we recommend everybody have a backup collar on their dog attached to the clip on the leash at the same time it's attached to the prong collar. Now we recommend these dominant dog collars that we sell. They're the best that they are when they're used correctly. Uh, quite frankly, I'd just as soon use a dominant dog collar as a prong collar. I think it's a more effective collar, my opinion. Now, back to these quick release collars. There are two major different styles in these prong collars. One of them, to get it to quick release, you simply pinch this and it comes apart. Problem is that, and it's happened, it happens all the time, is that it takes next to no pressure to release this dog. If, and I know of a case uh, where a, a dog was being aggressive to other dogs and rather than just hold the dog back on the leash, the handler reached down to grab his dog around the neck and the collar, which was a foolish thing to do to begin with, and then accidentally released the dog. That dog went off and killed another smaller dog because it was dog aggressive. Now, the second type of quick release prong collar is one that looks like this and this type is released with a normal dog snap. Now this collar doesn't come apart as easily by the handler reaching down and clipping this, the, the, uh, the snap open. What happens is, what happens is, and we get emails about it all the time, is the collar by itself will catch on the little snap on the clip and it pulls it. When it, when it pulls it, it pulls it open and it's apart, just like that. The handler doesn't have to do anything. He just needs to put a little pressure on his leash when the snap, this snap is in the wrong position. So if it's in the wrong position and he puts pressure on it, it's apart just like this. Then you have a dog running loose, doing God knows what, either getting in trouble, being aggressive, running away, getting hit by a car, any, any number of a million things to do. And the bottom line is, it happens too often. We get emails about it all the time. And as I said, I sell a lot of these quick release prong collars. And I've made the decision that I'm not gonna do it anymore. I just can't bring myself to sell a product that I think can cause dog handlers problems. I just, I don't want to see dogs get killed because they run out and get hit by a car or get in a dog fight or bite somebody or whatever because of a product that we shouldn't have been selling 
In fact, I don't think they should make them anymore. Now, why don't you bring that in close, and we're going to show how this comes apart. See? So here's what happens. It's held together like this. The way it, the way it comes apart is like that. So the way it goes back together is you thread it through there, clip it on here. You know, the concept should be, okay, that's the way it works. That's pretty simple. What really happens is that the, the dog handler will give a correction and the stars all line up correctly to bad karma and this happens just like that. The collar will catch either on the ring or it can even catch here on one of these so that it will pull apart like that. That didn't show it very good. It can catch like this and come apart. You can see how if you pull it, it comes apart like that. So if there's a, if there's leash pressure on this and it pulls like that, it's apart like that, just like that. So if there's leash pressure on this, this collar can come apart because it catches on it, just like that. Like that, comes apart and the dog's loose that quickly. So it goes together like this. This is how you put them on. And they come apart accidentally by catching there and they're apart like that. So one more time, it goes together like this. Everything should be good, but the leash gets caught on this little snap like that and it's apart. And you have a dog running loose. Just like that. So, it goes together like this. When things line up against it, it comes apart like that, that quick, and you have a loose dog. Now, on the other one, this one is a different style. And it doesn't matter whether they're chrome collars or, or, uh, or stainless steel collars. You pinch this and it comes apart. Problem is, it takes very little pressure to pinch that and have it come apart. And you have a loose dog. Looks just like that. Somebody reaches down or, or whatever and it comes apart. My advice is, if you're going to use a prong collar, learn how to put it together. It's not a big deal to put a prong collar on. You do it just like this. You take one of the prongs, you put it through the hole here. Once this is through the hole, you put pressure on the other prong to put it together like that. It can be taken apart at any place along the collar. To put it together, you put this side in the hole, push the other side in and it's together. That's a far more secure collar than this. So I think, honestly, I think people are crazy to use these things.